And welcome back to The Wrap. A major setback on the road to recovery. A new report from the Commerce Department finds the economy went in reverse in the first quarter, actually shrinking nearly 1%. The harsh winter is getting big chunk of the blame for that. And while the nation's unemployment rate is at 5.4%, not bad, workers are not seeing meaningful improvements in their paychecks. Month to month, pay increases have been paltry. And year over year, workers have only seen wage increases of about 2%. Critics on the right point out this is a sign the Obama recovery remains weak. Will Hillary Clinton be able to run on the Obama economy? And before you answer, it's impressive that the unemployment rate is down to 5.4%. 71 straight months of job growth. Okay, I'm just giving you all the things that you read in the left-wing blog. That sounds pretty good to run on. There's there's some good stuff. I mean, here's the truth of the matter. It came as no shock that the revision would be downward and we'd see what we saw in first quarter. Uh, I think most economists would tell you that they expect a pretty healthy bump in the second. You had a lot of things going on in the first. In addition to the weather, as you noted, you had a port strike going on, which has a, a bigger impact than people realize. The good news was we saw, I think, a 1.5% increase in consumer spending in that first quarter. I'll say this. you know, shovels, probably. Yeah, no doubt. If if we don't see some nice movement in the second quarter, and particularly the third quarter, there's a lot of reason for concern. But I think we'll see that. John, I guess the better news for Democrats is that this was Q1 2015 and not 2016. In 2008... John McCain couldn't have been dealt a worse hand. In September, the economy completely imploded, and whoever the incumbent was, or incumbent, you know, as far as the nominee, he was doomed no matter who it was. So I guess there's time for it to recover, but I guess, do you see it going, continue to kind of, the, the only word I hear is stalled, or no momentum, or we're going to go in Well, the new direction? normal doesn't look good. The United States has grown an average 3.5% a year, including depressions, ever since it became a country. We are now seen to be stuck at about 2% growth a year. That's a big difference. Now, the 5.4% unemployment sounds good, but if the labor participation rate, the number percentage of people in the country who work, were the same today as it was in 2008, you know what the unemployment rate would be? Almost 10. Yeah, Yeah, that's true. Almost 10. So we are a smaller, less productive economy than we otherwise would be, and the unemployment rate masks our weakness, doesn't ha- amplify it. Why don't you think, any, whether it be the Obama administration or, or Hillary Clinton, maybe we don't really hear much from her, but when we do, that the stock market is at insane levels right now. Yeah, so is, so is the printing of the Federal Reserve Board. Mm-hmm. Look, the Federal, Obama made a decision, which is very unusual for a Democrat. He decided he was going to reward equity holders rather than do policies that would create jobs for average Americans. So if you own stock, and you tend to be wealthier if you own stock, you would be out like a bandit because the Fed has flooded the zone with money. It's, but free it's money a very it's unusual true. policy for a Democratic president. I, I, will they run out of money at some point? Well, mm-hmm. that's my worry is that over the you know the next year, again, with polls and with these numbers that can be skewed here and there. And you love polls? And with, the, yeah, with the printing of these, this money, that things are going to look much better than they really are. That That's my fear is that they're going to continue to drive this narrative that things are getting better. And then, you know, if we do get a Republican president in office, then the reality of where we're at will actually come to fruition. That's that's going to be a problem. I, I, I hate to have to second my very conservative friend right here to my right. But what John said is correct. I mean, the market has been largely driven by inexpensive money. Um, the re- what's going to be interesting is I think that the chair- chairwoman of the Federal Reserve has boxed herself into a position where she's going to have to raise interest rates by the end of this year. When that happens, if that happens, now we're going to get a real test on the stock market. And you better hope, if, you have, if you're in the market, that corporate profits are looking okay as we go into that time period. Corporate profits in this latest go-round were not all that thrilling. They weren't terrible, but they weren't all that thrilling. They've been much better in the preceding quarters. So this will be a big test of the market. But you know what? The market may get a little pain, but I think in the long term, it will help solve some of the problems that John raised, which is to get us back to a more normal rate of growth. But the market correction coming in 2016 does not help the Democrats. No, it does not at all. If it comes in 2016. Who's the Republican that could best run on an economic platform as the guy that could fix the economy, in your opinion? Presidents don't fix economies. Well, but, but that's the perception that they can. Uh, like Reagan, for instance, was credited with fixing the Carter economy. Yeah, yeah. Th- the there's, no, there's no one person who stood out. I will say that if you've been a former governor, you can probably say you've helped. Your, Executive or, yeah, position. You have a pitch. 
I mean, I, you've heard me say this time and time again. I've never blamed George Bush for what happened. I've never given Barack Obama credit or blame for our success or lack thereof. I don't believe that presidents make a real difference in these problems. I think the business cycle does. And a lot of the things that are affecting us right now that are holding down the growth that John's talking about, that are keeping jobs from happening, are issues that have very little to do with the recession that we have. I think it's also an inability to adapt. We have so many automated jobs, John, that are, Jonathan, that are coming more and more you know, apparent and they're replacing humans altogether. I just, I just think that we need to adapt the Clinton Global Fund strategy and just uh, have everybody go out and start giving speeches under the table so we can just build and get had rid to, of the had debt. Had to find right. a way to take a shot at them, <laughs> huh? I see. <laughs> Gotta go now. Coming up next, what kind of voters does candidate Bernie Sanders attract? You're not gonna be surprised. <laughs> Don't go away.